Alright guys, so I had some spare time in the last few days and some motivation, which I definitely need more of, but I finally got my uh, OSD and all my FPV gear installed in my plane. So, you see my ground station here, it's all set up ready to go for testing. I'm recording right now because I'm going to run you through the live feed and the flight modes on my plane, and uh, there's not going to be any audio on that because I don't have the microphone link hooked up to the camera but either way like you'll like the important thing is yet you see what the OSD looks like and how the flight modes work so anyways so what I'm gonna do here like I'm gonna plug that in but first I'm gonna show you the for the immediate setup switch on my radio all those switches are in neutral so it doesn't tell me oh hey you need to switch up so you see here you see the cutout and that's why I made on both sides to slide in the OSD I made velcro and it's a wiry mess in there but down in there is the OSD and so you see probably see some light back in there that's like the exhaust port for the air in the back it's right it's right in front of the prop so that should help keep the airflow going you see like I just have this key strung out just for the time being just because I just programmed some GPS stuff but anyways so you see here I have a, I have the GPS set up to, to come out here but there's just enough cable to reach the velcro I have it like that for a reason just in case if the it does if the velcro does come loose obviously I'll like lay down extra bit of tape when I when I do a flight but by this way like it's not gonna come loose and fly back in the prop and just everything gets wrecked so you know that's kind of my setup here so anyways here I'm gonna See the camera's on. Now I just need to plug it in. So here it goes. All right. So see everything's on. You heard the motor do its uh, initialization so oh by the way like I mentioned in the last video I need to program in some uh, rudder mix with my ailerons and I I did it it's not not a whole lot you know just enough to help with cornering help smooth it out and here, real quick I'll show you just what my setup is for that and for programming my flight modes doesn't want to focus maybe I'll set it over here so you see channel 4 is rudder and I have it set to where uh, I have it set like this to where my source my input source for control is the aileron and uh, whenever I use my ailerons it's gonna exert 40% throw for the rudder channel you see here P1 and P2 are my potentiometer knobs for my pan and tilt you see here's my see here is my pan and my tilt and channel 7 is where I have all my flight mode set up and that's a, that's kind of an intricate setup but I'll show you why so there are five 
flight modes and obviously you can't program that all in one switch I mean you could do it on a potentiometer but it's not I mean it's not a uh, clear-cut uh, like you know program like you're you get a you gotta have to guesstimate where the potentiometer is to to think okay uh, where you basically gotta search the channel with the knob till you find it instead of just flip the switch you're there so what I have set up here is like all like these three switches all three switches are up so that is PA that's like altitude and heading hold basically like a kind of a cruise control and uh, flipping this one down engages loiter mode flipping this one down engages autopilot and so with those two, those two I, I consider more like secondary flight modes they're not as important but what loiter just like where you wherever you engage it it just circles around in that spot autopilot is for like pre-programmed like whether you program a GPS coordinates like uh, waypoints and it'll fly to those waypoints and then the final one is return to home you, you hear that the the servos really kicked in with that one basically just for whatever reason like it whether you engage it manual whether you actually engage the flight mode or the battery voltage on the plane drops below the low voltage threshold or you lose like you lose RSSI signal it uh, it hightails the plane right back to where I launched it basically returning to home and another cool thing and it's mostly coincidental but cool thing with this setup is if say I have either one of these switches down or both of them even and I, for whatever emergency, I have to hurry up and flip down, return to home. No matter what, like, no matter, like, whether, like, one's down, both are down, both are up. As long as I flip it down to return to home, it's going to be in return to home. There's, I don't have to worry about these switches being back up before I can engage it. It's, it's in return to home. It's there. So, yeah, it goes, like, it goes straight to return to home no matter what which is which like is very convenient I don't have to worry about little technicalities like getting me in a crash but anyways so I'm gonna switch you to the live feed so you can see for yourself what my DVR there is seeing